Hey everybody, today we're going to be making a Korean fried chicken sandwich. And first thing you're going to need when you're making this is some chicken thighs. Ideally they want to be boneless for the sandwich, but we've got a little bone in piece on the top left there just for frying purposes. We're going to test some things out, maybe get some different cuts in there, and we're just going to see what happens. So over here we've got the peppers, the garlic, the ginger, soy sauce, corn syrup, corn starch, distilled white vinegar, brown sugar, and some sesame seeds. We also have pepper, salt, and a little bit of garlic powder, which after filming this I realized we never used, but that's okay. First you want to put in half a teaspoon of salt. Then you're going to want a half teaspoon of pepper. Then you're also going to want to put your ginger in there. And this is going to be what you coat your chicken thighs with. So make sure you you know, put a little bit of love in there. If you don't feel like you need, have enough, then you're just going to need to put in some extra. That's okay. So from here, you're going to want to put your chicken thighs into the dry rub. And you're just going to want to make sure they're coated evenly on all sides, making sure the salt, pepper, and the ginger really get into every bit of meat that you're throwing into your mixing bowl. And then after that, you're going to want to start drenching them into the cornstarch, maybe with a little bit more finesse than I just did there. And eventually, they're all going to look like this. Now, when you're doing this, make sure you push the cornstarch into every crevice possible. That's how you get those really nice crispy bits when you're only using cornstarch to coat the chicken. Start making our sauce. You're going to want to have your pan on medium to high heat, and you're going to want to get your four ingredients, that being your garlic, peppers, soy sauce, and corn syrup. You're going to want to throw in some oil first, and then you're going to want to fry the garlic. You're going to have it simmer for about 30 seconds or so, or until it gets almost golden brown. And you're going to want to toss in those peppers too just to make sure they absorb the flavor of the garlic. And you're gonna to wanna to toss that around. Add your corn syrup in along with the soy sauce later on, along with the vinegar. On the side, we're gonna have our oil go to 350 degrees and we're gonna start putting our chicken in about two to three pieces per pot, depending on the size of your frying device. You don't want to overcrowd the pot slash pan. That's how you get sticky pieces and a lot of mess. So as you can see here, so the chicken's over there frying. The sauce is now complete. It's slightly thick, jammy. I don't know what to call that. We've got the chicken frying up over here. We're doing a double fry technique, so that just means we're putting it in once to cook it all the way through evenly but slowly. And once we're done with that, we're gonna take it back out and put it in at a higher temperature to really get that crispy outside. Right now, we're just doing the first fry though. And eventually, we're gonna wanna coat that back into sauce with the heat on. So, more pieces. It's starting to look a little bit better here. Um, you can see the parts where I may have flipped the chicken and you're going to want to use a strainer to get all those bad boys out onto a pan. And, you know, the first fry, you know, it looks pretty good. I, I thought the chicken came out really nice here. Wasn't too bad. And this was just the first batch and this was before I put the sauce on it. So, you know, even like this, it's a great dish. This is how I finished the second part. I got the second fry and I turned on the heat. Now this is where the mistake comes in because I let the sauce bubble and when it bubbles the corn syrup is going to have a fun reaction where it's going to start melting and when it hardens again it's going to get really really hard and as you'll see later the finished products look a little too shiny and that's because the corn syrup made it really really sticky almost to the point where it was too sticky to eat. But you know, we put some sesame seeds on them. Um, ideally, you wanna do this right as they're coming out the pan and with a better technique than this, just to make sure they stick on, but that's okay. Uh, the middle one, I actually went back in for a second dip because I thought at the time it wasn't coated enough. 
that's the one that hurt the most because it was so, so sticky. But the meat came out really, really juicy. So besides the fact, I think I did a pretty good job on the meat. Um, when I redid this again, definitely a lot better when I cut the corn syrup in half. So overall, I'm gonna have to give my first try a four out of seven. Actually, no, make that a three out of seven. And the second time, six out of seven. Very tasty, very tasty. So that was my first attempt at making Korean fried chicken put on a bun and we made some sandwiches tasted all right second time around when we did it off camera it was really great but yeah that's all thanks for watching